Did you know? Albert Einstein's brain got stolen. Albert Einstein was one of the most brilliant minds of the 20th century. His theories of relativity revolutionized our understanding of the universe. But even more fascinating than his work is the mystery of his brain. After Einstein died in 1955, his brain was removed by Dr. Thomas Harvey, the pathologist who performed the autopsy. Harvey took the brain without permission from Einstein's family, and he kept it in jars for decades. Harvey was fascinated by Einstein's brain, and he believed that there was something special about it. He cut the brain into 240 slices and stained them with different chemicals. He then sent the slices to scientists all over the world, hoping that they would be able to find something unique about Einstein's brain that could explain his genius. However, no one has ever been able to find anything definitive. Some studies have suggested that Einstein's brain had more glial cells, which are cells that support neurons. Other studies have suggested that Einstein's brain had more synapses, which are connections between neurons. But none of these studies have been conclusive. Of Einstein's brain continues to fascinate scientists and the public alike. Some people believe that the brain holds the key to understanding genius. Others believe that the mystery is simply a reflection of Einstein's own brilliance. Whatever the case may be, Einstein's brain is a reminder of the power of the human mind. It is a testament to the fact that even after death, our brains can continue to teach us about ourselves and the world around us. But wait, who really Albert Einstein was? Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany, on March 14, 1879. He was a brilliant student, and he showed an early interest in mathematics and physics. In 1905, he published four groundbreaking papers that revolutionized our understanding of the universe. These papers included the development of the special theory of relativity, which showed that space and time are not absolute, and the mass-energy equivalence equation, E equals mc squared. Einstein's work on relativity led to a new understanding of gravity, and it helped to lay the foundation for the development of nuclear physics. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921 for his work on the photoelectric effect. Einstein was a controversial figure and he was often criticized for his political views. However, he was also a deeply compassionate man, and he was committed to using his knowledge to make the world a better place. He died in Princeton, New Jersey on April 18, 1955. But why didn't Einstein want to expose his brain? There are a few possible reasons why Einstein didn't want to expose his brain. One possibility is that he was concerned about how his brain would be used. He may have feared that it would be dissected and studied without his consent. He may have also feared that his brain would be used to create a eugenics program, in which people with superior brains would be encouraged to reproduce. Another possibility is that Einstein simply didn't want his brain to be a spectacle. He may have felt that his brain was not important, and that it should be respected after his death. He may have also felt that his brain was not something that should be studied or dissected. Whatever the reason, Einstein's wishes were not respected. His brain was stolen and studied without his consent. This is a sad story, but it is also a reminder of the power of the human mind. Einstein's brain may never be fully understood, but it continues to teach us about ourselves and the world around us. The mystery of Einstein's brain is a fascinating one. No one knows for sure why Einstein's brain was so different from other brains. Some scientists believe that it was due to his genius, while others believe that it was simply a coincidence. Whatever the reason, the mystery of Einstein's brain continues to fascinate scientists and the public alike. It is a reminder of the power of the human mind, and it shows us that there is still much that we don't know about ourselves. A question might have arised in your minds that what would be the future of Einstein's brain? The future of Einstein's brain is uncertain. It is currently being stored in a safe deposit box in New Jersey. Some scientists believe that it should be studied further while others believe that it should be returned to Einstein's family. Whatever the future holds for Einstein's brain, it is sure to continue to fascinate. Thanks for watching. You can find me on Instagram at science underscore maverick and on YouTube as the science of the weird and wonderful. For detailed articles on scientific topics, you can visit my blog at sciencemaverick.blogspot.com. Don't forget to like and share the video. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe my YouTube channel for staying tuned for more videos like this.